Hey guys, good afternoon. I am about to make some pancakes for a late lunch because it's actually the afternoon right now. Um, I'm about to make some scotch pancakes uh, with self-raising flour, milk, one egg, margarine instead of butter, brown sugar, and some nutmeg and cinnamon. So if you guys wanna see how I make the pancakes, then stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients in a second. I have my weighing scale, scale out, everything is ready to go. This needs to be a quick process because I am hungry, okay? Okay, so let's get into it. Here we have the Shirelle. Hey, good morning, Shirelle, how are you doing? Hi. Hi. So here I have whole milk and margarine. I have brown sugar here and then self-raising flour here in this jar. And that's that for these ingredients. Oh, and the egg was hiding as well. So we have the egg there as well, ready to go. Chapter four, I'm gonna sift the flour in to the bowl very very badly i might add oh my gosh sift this in to my mixing bowl 25 grams of brown sugar so hardly anything at all are you self-raising power I mean, you can use plain flour, but then you just need to use some baking powder. That is all the sifting we're gonna do. Then I just use a fork and just um, quickly mix it in so that it's kind of even. It's at this point in time that I also add some ground cinnamon and some ground nutmeg. Just a little. I add it now because it's dry ingredients. So I've got margarine here. And we need 40 grams. Put this in here, add it into the microwave, melt it down real quick, and then come back. So now we have our melted margarine. So we're gonna use our spoon and just make a little well in the middle of the flour mixture. And then we're gonna pour the margarine or your butter straight into the middle of the well, all of it. I'm using whole milk. Um, that is 250. Okay, so we have 250 of milk. Margarine is already in there, in the middle. Don't think you guys can see it, but hey-ho. And then we have a medium egg. So we're gonna add the egg. Just gonna throw this trash away and rinse my fingers. Okay, so now we're gonna add half of the milk mixture. So we're at 250, so we're gonna go down to 125. Just check, it's about 150, just a little bit less. Okie dokie. Then we're gonna mix it together. I'm using my whisk. I've like tilted it down so you guys can see in here. So we have the egg, the milk, the margarine, the flour, sugar, and nutmeg and cinnamon. Just gonna combine them. And then we'll add a little bit more milk. At this point, you can see what it looks like. 
drop 30 on this room, we ain't gonna sleep this shit. That's a nice smooth better. I think I'm just gonna make sure all of the little bits are out. Depending on how you want to um, add your mixture to your frying pan, you could either pour the mixture back into something that you could easily pour out of, like a measuring jug, or you can use a ladle. I like to use a ladle because it just means that every amount is pretty much the same. So now I'm just going to preheat my frying pan with a little bit of olive oil. You can use vegetable oil, it's probably a bit better, but I just use olive oil for most things and then get back to you guys. All right, before I forget guys, I'm also gonna add a drop of vanilla flavoring um, into it. Just a little bit. Okay, so we're going to get our mixing bowl, get a ladle of the mixture, and then drop it into the pan. That is how I flip it. I just wait until it's cooked enough so it has enough holes in it on the first side. And then I just flip it. I do not do the arm like flip. <laughs> I don't do what I know I can't do. Okay. But yeah, you can see how thick the pancakes are and they're so light and fluffy and I just absolutely love that about scotch pancakes. This is what it's currently looking like in the pan. And we have two waiting over here. And you can see it doesn't it doesn't stick with the olive oil. Um, it moves freely in the pan. And it's cooked on the other side as well. Take it out. Add it to the pile, add more oil. Okay guys, so here I'm just going to take the little mini one off. Here we have our stack of pancakes. I'm going to have lemon juice and sugar, white sugar on mine. But you can literally have whatever you want. But here they are, nice, light and fluffy. Okay guys, hey, here are my pancakes. Uh, there are seven of them. I just ate the mini one on the top. But yeah, that is how I make my pancakes. Thanks for watching guys. If you end up making pancakes, I hope this recipe was easy to follow. Please remember to like, to comment, and in the comment section, please do drop down if you made pancakes and what your favorite toppings are, and then please share and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye.